Welcome to Bitcoin stuff. This video is on forks versus alts, and it is about why uh, the Bitcoin index is the first thing that a newcomer to Bitcoin should know about. Uh, if if you want to keep him out of trouble, suppose somebody got into Bitcoin. And he, he was to say, like, what, what is, what's, what's the best thing for me to do if I don't know very much? Okay. If I'm new to Bitcoin, um, we have, we have a bunch of, uh, bunch of different Genesis blocks and some of them have, have different chains with different ends. So what what would I uh what would I want want to get that would connect me with uh the best other people? What arrangement of goods connects me puts me closest to the center of the best network? Knowing nothing else. Knowing knowing nothing but what you can think about from uh, a game theoretic standpoint what is your first move uh well i say that your first move is to buy the bitcoin index the the smartest people would think if there were if there were two equal coins in investing is about predicting the future Right. Every every investment is a prediction about the future. So if you buy a farm, you are predicting something about how how this land is going to be valued in the future. And the basis of your prediction could be what the land is going to produce over time or or maybe you're just predicting People are going to go crazy and, uh, I don't know, there's going to be a gold rush. And so people will uh, want to buy up the land even if they don't know anything about it, right? So there could could be all kinds of reasons why why you are buying something. But it is it is always about you predicting the future. And, and Bitcoin is the interface. Right. So Bitcoin enables people to be closer together and uh, to interact more fruitfully than with the dollar. Uh, we hope. Right. So the way the way that Bitcoin becomes more valuable is by attracting more people, uh, especially by attracting people who are good additions to the network so people who are uh, valuable people to be connected to that's that's where i think the value of bitcoin is uh so what what we want to think about when when we're thinking about value in bitcoin is what what are people in the future going to do what what group are they going to want to join right so before before i said for a farm you're thinking about what is it what is it going to produce well bitcoin doesn't produce anything uh it is uh it's a it's a network right so who who do you want to be with what what is what's the good group of people that you want to be connected to and what what uh, style of uh, social organization is going to be attractive to future people right um, that that's the main the main thing that you need to think about if you want to uh, decide what what is a good investment in Bitcoin an altcoin means that you have 
a completely alternate history that uh, does not derive from Bitcoin's Genesis block. Okay, and um, in in particular, it is derived from a Genesis block that was created after Bitcoin's Genesis block. And I think that having having history behind you is the most valuable thing that you can have if you're a cryptocurrency. Okay? So um so I think that if you if you start an altcoin, you are uh inherently producing something that's that's uncompetitive relative to Bitcoin. Um and you, in in order to win, you would have to overcome uh, your your inherent un uncompetitiveness in in a way that would would convince everybody who is already using Bitcoin to to move over to the new system. And the problem with that is um, if everybody everybody has to switch. That's that's something that could, uh, could re rearrange everybody. See, in, in terms of how much money they have, and an investor, uh, a, a group of investors would prefer not to go through something like that. Okay, because it's hard to it's hard to predict uh, some something. Some, something like like an altcoin winning the, the idea that there's there's something that's going to beat the dollar which is uh, what you have to be thinking if you're in Bitcoin in the first place in my opinion that that should be seen as a, a rare event it should be seen as a, a rare event for a new currency to just start at at some point and and overtake what already exists right because that's uh that's in inconvenient for people because they're all they're all disrupted now if you get into Bitcoin early you are uh, very very fortunate if uh, a, a new currency Overtaking an old one is a rare event, but if it's not a rare event, then really you're not fortunate because it is hard to predict when a new currency is going to uh, to win out. Okay, now in Bitcoin, there's you know thousands of other currencies, so theoretically, if one of them was to win. Uh, you would have to be able to uh, successfully predict which one that was going to be. And you would have to successfully do it again and again. And uh, uh, I don't think it's reasonable to expect people to be able to do that. So um, uh, I, think, I think creating altcoins makes makes the system more unstable and uh, recent recently um, the last couple of years um, all altcoins have have grown relative to Bitcoin and to me that that means that uh, Bitcoin is in trouble and it means that everybody in Bitcoin is is in trouble right because I don't think you want to be in Bitcoin if if we are are going through a time when uh you you don't know which altcoin is going to win next. Right? Because you you continually have to make the right call. And how do you? So if I thought an altcoin was was winning that would be a sign to me that I would want to uh, get out. It's 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 an unpredictable place to be. Okay, B Bitcoin 
can't be a, a, a less predictable place to be than, than the dollar. So uh, a fork, what that means is um, instead of starting with a new Genesis block, you, you start with, with the history that has already been established. We have a history that, that splits, right? Right, right at now. We don't have a, a new a new history starting now. We have a, have a copy of uh, the history that's already been established, and you you continue it uh, in in a different direction. You keep the UTXO set, so everybody everybody who has Bitcoin now uh, has has your new your new version of bitcoin the nice thing about a fork is you you don't have to worry if you have all all of the chains see what maybe one of them is going to win but uh and and you don't know which one but if new ones are created you still have them, even if you don't know that they exist. So uh, there's there isn't there isn't chaos if a fork wins, and it's not uh, it's not bad it's not a bad sign because uh, the investors don't have to be disrupted if a fork wins. See, because you get. You get the index of all the chains, and then no matter how they split in the future, you, you will always have the, the same amount of whichever wins that had different Genesis blocks, but they had equal market caps. That's, a, that's an unstable situation because the bigger network is better. So if some people were moving more in in one direction than the other one one network would be growing and one would be shrinking and the one that's growing is probably the one that will win because as it gets bigger it becomes more useful and as the other one gets smaller it becomes less useful um and he's he's going to say uh, do I do I buy one of each? I mean, how do I tell? How do I tell who's winning? I I don't it, I I can't necessarily tell. That's kind of a uh, difficult information, right? How do how do I know who's winning? And if I if I don't want to predict who's winning, I just buy one of each, and that's that is the sensible thing for a a newbie to do, right? However, anyone can start an altcoin. So this strategy doesn't, doesn't necessarily work long term. Because you could say, well, maybe, maybe somebody will uh, start uh, a new altcoin tomorrow. And tomorrow... Maybe maybe it grows, and it gets it gets bigger than any of the ones they already have. Uh, then I don't have a good investment anymore. Okay, that, how do I know? I I I don't just I I don't just need to know which one of two is winning. I I need to also know about which ones are going to be created. And uh, that's not not a reasonable thing for an investor to know. And you can't you can't index over the altcoins, right? Because people can always start new ones. And if you try to get if you try to get a, a big segment of the market, that means people can just create altcoins and. Uh, you you have to keep buying them because uh, as long as people are trying to index over the altcoins, there's a market for new altcoins.
right? So it is not it is not a reasonable thing to do to uh, to try to index over the altcoins. So a priori, I think that if you got in, into Bitcoin and you saw two coins with different Genesis blocks that were were equal in size, what you would really do is not buy either of them. Right? That to me that's the best strategy. But if if there was there was one that was overwhelmingly bigger, you wouldn't you wouldn't be worried, you would just buy that one. Cuz the 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 smartest investors would would be trying to find one another and stick together rather than than trying to move around right because they're they're all going to predict with you that uh that's not a good game for them to be playing so um and if the biggest coin uh or i should say if if the yeah if if the the biggest coin is uh connected to several uh forks then it it does make sense to try to index over the forks because it's not it's not disruptive if a fork wins and you don't you don't have to uh decide to leave anymore you just say uh i you know i don't know what people are uh disputing here. I don't know I don't know what caused the split but if if I index over everything that just means the smarter more knowledgeable investors are uh, resolving the winner and I I am simply going along with them and if I were to buy just one that that would be a prediction about which one is going to win uh it in in a uh, a a dispute uh, among you know between people who are more knowledgeable than me so when i was reviewing the videos that i recorded last night i realized that i missed a step so uh remember i said that if you got into the bitcoin world and you found uh two two different coins that had different Genesis blocks, uh, and they they were equally valuable. Then uh, you might want to uh, get out rather than to try to get one of each, because the implication of your decision is that uh, any any altcoin that started at any time later might win eventually. And uh, if that is the case, then you probably don't want to be in the Bitcoin world at all. You probably want to stick, stay in the dollar world. Um, so that's a sign. Uh, that's a sign that none of none of the altcoins, Bitcoin nor none of the altcoins, will beat the dollar. If uh, if if you were to take seriously the possibility that an altcoin can win um within within the bitcoin world uh and i said uh and i said if if there was one coin that was really big and the others were tiny then then you wouldn't feel so worried so you would just you would just get the big one right it, it to me it to me the more the more altcoins you're you're trying to get the riskier position you're taking uh and then i said but but if we're talking about forks then you don't have to uh then then uh trying trying to get all the forks is really the least risky thing you can do and if you have all of them then you're totally safe because new new forks just just split off from old ones you you can you can expect that uh that the most the most far seeing investors are going to gravitate toward that uh toward toward something like that 
Okay. But um, but uh, how how far do you, do you really go? Because you can't really index over all of the forks if you are a newcomer. So that's that's what I was missing. I said well, how how far? Why why should you really buy uh, both BTC and BCH? Or should they? Should they do that? Because I, I have said that old investors shouldn't sell their old uh, UTXOs, or you should um, you you should uh, you should be careful about selling your old UTXOs, right? Um, uh, on on forks, and uh, but should should a newcomer try to get all of the forks really i mean is it really that likely that any of the forks are going to win over the uh the current uh the current king btc well this this is something that i like about uh not not doing replay protection because if you're a newcomer and it's easy to get all of the forks because if they're not doing replay protection, you just any anybody makes one one transaction, and then you you get the whole uh, you get the whole index, right? Um, uh, unless unless I don't know, it doesn't get mined somewhere uh, in one one of them, but not, nothing's perfect, right? But it's easy. It's easy to uh, get get the whole Bitcoin index if nobody was doing replay protection for for a newcomer. But uh, unfortunately, we haven't figured that out yet in Bitcoin. So, um, but such a world is only a dream in my imagination right now. So I think there is a limit now in this world. In the world with replay protection, I think there is a limit. To how far a newcomer would want to go down the list the list of forks and there would be there's a limit to how much information you can process so there there is a point where you don't you don't want to bother looking anymore um, and why 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 would that be past the first one given that BTC is so big um, so if you look in uh, an earlier video I did uh, called the definition of Bitcoin, what I said is that the old investors have a bigger effect on which fork wins than the new investors. And that has to do with the fact that most of the coins have been mined before all of the forks started happening, which means that that the the old investors uh are ha have have a lot more bitcoins that they can uh put put in in the position uh you know uh, around the uh the bitcoin index right they 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 can choose they can choose to keep the whole index or uh they they can uh take take parts of it out that they don't like, but they're they're going to be centered around the index and uh, the the Bitcoin index. That's that's a priori. That's going to be a good network to be in. So old investors are more likely to be thinking, um, let's uh, let's just keep the Bitcoin index, right? I think I think if you you were a newcomer. You would you would want to look at what the old investors were thinking. 